Let's short the squirrel. Meet up with Evie and hand out Short's birthday invitations. It sure would be sweet if three Georges could come to Short's birthday party. Hey Short, let's be sure to include the USS Alabama crewmates to your birthday party. Hey Short, we can't wait to come to your party! Short's making new history in Mobile at his birthday party. Would you like to come? Sure. Short, we'd love to come to your birthday party. We would love for you to check out Short's birthday party. We would love to check it out. It would just make sense for Postmark Mobile to come to Short's birthday party. Would you like to come? We would love to come to Short's birthday party. Thank you for the invitation. Stop the presses. I have some big news for you. You and your staff are invited to Short's birthday party. Wow, we love to read Atlanta, so this is great. We'll all be there. Awesome. Short, happy birthday. Hey, Mr. Timmy, thank you for all these great supplies for Short's birthday. I don't know, do you think you have enough? I think so. Okay, good. Well, Thanks. if not, you can always come back and get some more, okay? Of course. We would like to invite you to Short's birthday party. Oh, wonderful. Can't wait to be there. Thank you, thank you. Now, join us for Short's birthday reading parade. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. 
Mardi Gras in Alabama by Karen W. Tunks. Funny Little Folly loves Mardi Gras. It's his favorite time of year. He wants to go to every parade. There's so much to see, do, and hear. Leading up to Mardi Gras, parades roll night and day. There's so much fun to be had on both sides of Mobile Bay. Down on Dolphin Island rolls the first parade of the season. People flock to kick things off, even when the weather is freezing. In the heart of Mobile, people gather as the floats roll past the crowd. The maskers merely toss their throws, while people shout out loud. Throw me something, mister, is what we hear them say. Catch those beads flying high in the air, and it feels like your lucky day. The king rides along on his royal throne with his lovely queen at his side. But who's that sitting on her lap? Folly hitched the ride. There are floats of every kind and color. Ships sail past and train cars roll by. Tigers and zebras show off their stripes. Mythical creatures cross the sky. A black cat hisses from a cotton bale. Fierce dragons breathe out fire. Ancient temples stand majestically while mermaids show off their attire. Can you hear the marching band strutting up the street? Folly dodges this way and that, running past their feet. Dancers twirl to the beating sound as the drum major gives the command. Who is that dangling from the brass trombone? Folly is in the band. Next, we see a mammoth parade, futuring traditions old and new. Mystic riders toss out throws galore as they stride down the avenue. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, and the Coast Guard, too, proudly carries our nation flags in her grand red, white, and blue. Now Folly heads to the children's parade. They wear costumes for all to see. The grown-ups gather to watch and cheer. It's a Mardi Gras jubilee. Kids toss candy from their colorful floats to the people all around. Folly jumps up high, catch them quick before they hit the ground. Ladies ride in parades of their own. They throw as far as the eye can see. Has anyone seen Folly here? Where can our funny friend be? Spring Hill, Government, Washington, Royal, Canal, and Church. Folly could be anywhere. So many streets to search. Throws are coming faster now. Just look at the trinkets fly. Oh, there's Folly on the ground, knocked out by a chocolate moon pie. There are more parades across the bay that Folly wants to see. You can never have too many beads. On that, we all agree. Maids and mystics ride dazzling floats from each Baldwin Mardi Gras society. There are Boy Scouts, Shriners, and regular folks. Folly sees people of every variety. There's one parade like no other as they march on four feet instead of two. Their tails wag happily as children cheer. These dogs are quite a crew. One dog has a rider, like a cowboy on his horse. Do you recognize him? It's our silly friend, of course. Now carnival has come to an end. Parade goers pack up their loot. So many toys, cups, and doubloons. It's impossible to compute. Whether it's ladies, gentlemen, kids, or dogs. Long, short, big, or small. When it comes to Mardi Gras and parades. Folly, Folly loves, loves them, them all. all. Oh my gosh, what are we doing today, Evie? We're here at the Mobile Carnival Museum to celebrate Short's birthday and learn about Mobile Mardi Gras history. That sounds like fun. I can't wait to take the tour. So look, Evie, we're in one of my favorite rooms, the Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association. Manga. So look at my umbrella. Awesome. We love to sink it line. And one cool fact about this room, this is actually my regalia from 2019 wow. when we were king and queen. It is beautiful. Yours is one of my favorite trains. Oh, thank you. Terrell, what are all these umbrellas for? You remember the first room we were in? I had my umbrella. We second line. That's what all of these umbrellas are used to do. That's how we get the party started.
Mobile Mardi Gras is very kid friendly. They get to participate in so many activities. Look at the cool costumes they get to wear. Snazzy, right? Wow, Terrell, look at all these Mardi Gras trains from Kings and Queens. They are really interesting because guess what? People get to really show their personality and their character through their trains. So their inner heart gets to shine out bright during carnival season. What room are we in, Evie? Well, Terrell, we're in the music room. A fun fact is the Excelsior Band was the first band in the nation established in 1883. It currently still marches in every parade during the Mardi Gras season. That's cool, because guess what? Maybe you could strike the streets during carnival season in one of the bands. Don't you think Short would love this for his birthday present? Absolutely! Happy birthday, Short! Happy birthday, Short, from Fort Condi. Happy birthday, Short! Happy birthday, Short, from Trustmark in Mobile. Happy birthday, Short! Happy birthday, Short! Happy birthday, Short, and welcome to Mobile. Happy birthday, Short, from Karen and Folly. Let's sing happy birthday to Short together. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday short the squirrel, happy birthday to you. Check out more of Short, even Short in Court. And Short gets sick. Hi, I'm Karen Tunks, and I'm the author of Mardi Gras in Alabama, and I'm here to answer some questions about the book. Why did you write Mardi Gras in Alabama? I wrote Mardi Gras in Alabama because so many teachers would come to me and ask for a book that they could use in their classroom that was about Mardi Gras but not set in New Orleans. So after enough teachers came and asked for it, I decided to write the book. Did you love going to Mardi Gras? 
I did not grow up going to Mardi Gras. I grew up in Oklahoma, and we didn't celebrate Mardi Gras there. In fact, I had never heard of Mardi Gras until I came to Mobile to go to University of South Alabama, and that's when I went to my first Mardi Gras. What is your favorite thing about Mardi Gras? My favorite thing about Mardi Gras is the same as Follies. I love the parades, and I especially like the smaller parades, the children's parades at schools and in their neighborhoods, and the dog parade in Fairhope are probably my favorite parades. What is your favorite thing about writing? I love to write. I love all aspects of it. Uh, I keep a journal and I write down ideas for new stories and so that's always fun when the new ideas come to me. And then when I develop a story and get into the research, even a fiction story, you still have to know your stuff so I like learning about new things. And then when the book comes out, being able to share it with readers. What makes readers enjoy reading? I think people really enjoy reading when they find the right book, when they find the genre that they're interested in or an author that they like to follow, and then they can just move from one book right into the next one. What advice do you have for readers who want to become writers? I think the best thing you can do is just to write. Keep a notebook with your ideas and then just write something every day. It might be a journal or you might have story starters or prompts that you write from, but just practicing it every day like anything else will make you better at it. Did Fallen make you laugh when you wrote about him? Folly did make me laugh, and some of his favorite antics for me was um, when he would hold on to the slide on the trombone, or jump on the queen's lap, or ride on the dog in the dog parade. But he's a lot of fun. He was a lot of fun to write about. Vocabulary Builder with Short the Squirrel. C-A-P-E. B E A D S Beads M O O N P I E Moon pie. O A K T R E E Oak tree. F L O A T float M A S K mask M A R C H I Marching band. F O L L Y H A T. Folly hat. Can't wait until next year. Invite Short to your school by emailing him at contact at shirttheSquirrel.com. Follow Short on Instagram and Facebook.